Postex TX series printers provide an optimal solution to produce thermal labels and barcodes for industrial applications. We will demonstrate how easy it is to load ribbon and media in this video in the following four segments. One, getting to know your TX series printer. Two, loading ribbon. Three, loading media. And four, performing a media calibration. First, let's look at the components packaged with the TX series printer. Each printer includes a user's manual and a CD-ROM containing the printer driver, a sample roll of ribbon, a ribbon core, the interface cable, and the power cord. This white arrow indicates the position of the adjustable media sensor. This is the supporting rod, the media guide leader, the media guide, the ribbon supply spindle, the ribbon take-up spindle, the media spindle, the media roll guide, the media roll guide tightening screw, and the print head open and close handle. The TX is not packaged with media, so please make sure you have a roll of media handy with the internal diameter larger than 38 millimeters. When loading ribbon, first check to see what side the ink is on because ribbon should be loaded with the ink side facing downwards. The TX series are compatible with ribbons that have ink on the inside or the outside. To check the ink side, stick a label to the ribbon to see if ink accumulates. Since we have confirmed that ink on this ribbon is on the outside, we will now begin the process of loading the ribbon. The Postec TX models, for your reference, include the diagrams of the correct loading paths for both types of ribbon on the sidewall of the TX chassis. With the power turned off, lift the right cover and turn the black handle counterclockwise to release the print head module. Insert the ribbon roll onto the ribbon supply spindle until it reaches the inside edge of the spindle. While following the appropriate ribbon path, push the ribbon under the print head towards the front of the printer. Next, insert the ribbon core onto the ribbon take-up spindle. And then secure the end of the ribbon to the core with a piece of tape. Turn the spindle counterclockwise until the ribbon is tight and smooth out any areas that may have wrinkled during the loading process. With ribbon now loaded, in the next section we'll demonstrate how to load media. To load media, lift the media roll guide and insert the media roll onto the media spindle. Loosen the screw on the media roll guide to adjust it and press the media roll guide to the outside edge of the media. Tighten the screw to hold the guide in place. Now, push the media under the supporting rod and through the print head module towards the front of the printer. Adjust the white arrow, which is the media sensor pointer, by moving the media sensor handle located under the back of the print head module. Make sure the white arrow is positioned above the label, black mark, or positioning hole. Slide the media guide to the edge of the label. Don't squeeze the labels. Make sure the labels remain flat and centered. We can now close the print head module by twisting the handle clockwise and close the right cover. Media is loaded and we will now perform a media calibration to ensure proper alignment of the media. To calibrate the media, first, turn the printer on. You'll see the three indicator lights on the front panel light up. Next, press the calibration button on the front panel. The three indicator lights will stop blinking and the printer will feed three or more labels. 
After the process, the three indicator lights will stop blinking but will remain lit. The media calibration is now complete and the TX series printer is ready for your print job. Just remember, anytime you change the label size or type, perform a media calibration.